Now let's look at related rates when we're dealing with things that are moving at right angles. For example, suppose I have an airplane that is traveling horizontally. It's not traveling, traveling vertically, it's traveling horizontally. Or it's not moving at an angle. Um, and it's in a flight path that's going to take it directly over a radar tracking station. If S, and S is the distance between the radar station and the um, airplane is decreasing at a rate of 400 miles per hour when s is 10 what is the speed of the plane well the first thing you need to do is identify that you have a right angle here so you know you have pythagoras that you need to use so i know that s squared is equal to x squared plus six squared and um i know that because i'm looking at this picture right here and it says this is traveling at an altitude of six it wasn't in the problem, but it's in the diagram. So I know if I solve this for x, x is going to equal the square root of s squared minus 36. All right, now when s is 10, I know that x is the square root of 100 squared minus 36. I know that in this case, x is 8. All right, now I also know that S is decreasing at a rate of 400 miles per hour. So ds dt is minus 400 because it's decreasing, okay? Put your units on there. And I know S is equal to 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. I'm looking for the speed of the plane. So the speed of the plane is equal to what? dx dt. Now it's only dx dt because it's moving horizontally. So I know my velocity is only in x. All right. Now let's go back to this equation up here. I know x squared plus 6 squared is s squared. So let me implicitly differentiate this whole thing. So this is 2x dx dt. Now the 6 squared, the derivative of that is 0. So this is 2s ds dt. So I know that dx dt is going to be equal to s over x times ds dt. Hmm. So now let me just plug things in. s is 10. x is, now we already figured that out, that's 8. And ds dt, it's decreasing, so it's negative 400. So my answer is negative 500 miles per hour. Now we ask for the speed. Speeds are always positive. So the speed is 500 miles per hour. While the velocity is negative 500 miles per hour. All right. Now you give this one a go. It's the same concept as my um, airplane one. You just need to apply the Pythagorean theorem.